Hi, welcome. Now that we have uh, a beautiful wallpaper to look at, uh, we've uh, done that in previous tutorial. Let's first take a look at all the ways to move around and to uh, work and then and see what the workflow might be like in a Windows Styling Manager. So we have here the tags. We have five tags. We can have five screens actually. And if you have a dual screen, you have 10, of course. So uh, we can designate um, by clicking on the number, which we call tags or workspaces in i3. We can tell on number five, I want to launch something. And I can launch Control Alt V, which is Vivaldi. And say, okay, there I'm gonna check out my mail and all that. But the other one, I'm gonna launch Control Alt F. Firefox and the other one Google Alt G Google Chrome well actually Chromium and any of these tags can um, well be filled with applications you need at that point in time if you press super F1 you'll see that it's also Vivaldi so now we have a similar or the same application open but maybe to do something else here so it's all up to you to see what you do now, I have a lot of applications already open. The question is, how do I close it? So sometimes we can go look in here and say file and then exit. But best, basically, best thing to do is, is use your thumb and your uh, pinky, I think it's called, <laughs> and then press Ctrl, a uh, super shift Q. So that's what's gonna work all the time. Super shift Q, it's so, um, programmed into my fingers like it's in i3 because there is indeed and that was also the, the goal that we have the same shortcuts in uh, i3 in XFCE in Openbox You'll, your fingers will know where to go and it will work as well now shortcuts well we tend to forget them and there is a way of course to remember it and that's the super s so the Super S is a summary. It's an application that's provided by Awesome. It's not our application. We can do some things about it, but what we can't do is make this uh, first lines, Alt, Control, and so on, a little bit lighter. So that's um, embedded, unfortunately, in the application somewhere. And we will not change it if we if it's really somewhere in the user share applications, you know. It's no, no config available. But it's okay, uh, we can live with it, it's not that dark, we can still read it. But this this is a, um, a, summary, a summary of what you can do with your system. So well, there are a lot of Alt plus controls, so if you want to have Alt Control A, which is actually a very strange thing to have, but because um, it's actually an XFCE application, but some of us maybe really want to have this because we don't know the names yet. Um, we need to, to, to know what to launch and what application it was again. And so here you have your menu to check it out. What was it again? Okay, so the Super uh, S again. And we have Tunar, Control alt b but there are other uh, possibilities as well. So you, ch you ch should check out what keyboard shortcut you like. I, mine is programmed with this. Super Shift Enter is for me my uh, file manager. But Hey, we're all different, so you can use Alt Control B for Tune or, or Alt Control C for Catfish and Evolution, Firefox, and so on. If you want to lock the system, I haven't done that yet. So Alt Control K, you're gone away from your system, and we've, we've changed it in our script that this is going to be the, the lock image. So there you go, that's working as well. Alt Control T or Enter is the termite, there is Spotify, but if you have not installed it, then it will not work. Let's see. Control Alt S. And there you go. Still need to log in. So it works. And there is uh, when we talk about music, you should also talk about the pulse audio control. I need it for my Bluetooth to set it to set everything right. So when the Bluetooth connection has been uh, created. Then there are here options and here options to set so I can listen to my video, my videos or my music or anything really, anything with sound. So, Super S, 
we should check this, all this out. But there is also a, um, well, how do we move things around? That's also a, a possibility. We should know that the tiling manager is actually something that's um, meant to uh, ease and, and be comfortable with your workflow. If we press super return, it's going to tile everything in, in, um, into pieces. It's 50-50. It's, it's as simple as that. It's 50-50. And we can tile it any way we want. And now there is a very important shortcut I have never shown until now. So super S, there is somewhere in this um, overview. I don't see it right away, but it's in there. And that's this button here, super uh, spacebar. Super spacebar is going to change this element up here. We're now actually in floating. So things change. We have now one terminal on top of the other. Which is what we, we um, well, in normal desktops we would find as normal. We say, okay, what's different? What's, what's strange about that? Well, in a tiling manager, <laughs> it's very strange because it will overlay on the other one rather than give you 50 50. It's not going to be overlaid anymore. Now, if we keep clicking here, which I won't do because I have to move my mouse over there and my fingers on my keyboard. So I'll do super spacebar instead, and it's going to do change stuff here. You see, tile left, and something happened to this floating uh, window, and it's now tiled into three parts, one big one, and 50-50 to the left. So if we keep changing super space, things will change with it, and you'll just, you'll just uh, go through them until you're satisfied, until you say, that's the way I want to have it like this or let's go full screen so this says here max you see at the top so the one that was active is now maxed out and then magnifier and so this one is well put on top and magnifier is just a name to to tell that's a typical way of tiling it and we're almost done I think one more and we're back to the normal tiling image here which is called tile Okay, so this super spacebar thing is very neat trick. Let's try and find it again. Super spacebar somewhere. Super spacebar. You'll find it. It's in there somewhere. The hotkeys is it there? No. So there are a few things you should read. You should read the awesome, which is the first column in the middle. That's our interesting keys because it reloads uh, awesome and it also quits awesome. Let's do that. Shift super X, we'll find the other one soon enough. There you go. We're now out of awesome. We're back at the light DM screen and say, oh, um, who are you? Well, I'm Eric. So, and we're logging back in. All T to trash this wallpaper. That's a nicer one. So, super shift enter, some terminals with it, and there we go. We're back at uh, square one, where we just were. And we were looking at some keys, so important keys. Shift uh, super R, reload it. Shift super X, quit awesome. Um, super S, to show the help. And we're still looking for other interesting things. Super F is also a nice one. So if you're talking about uh, this one and I want to show you something, this is when you move over the mouse, you uh, we need to, well, I, I use the mouse. You can s uh, leave the mouse out of the equation, but I tend to use the mouse, go to a screen and this is the screen you want to quit, for instance, Super Shift Q, but you can also say Super F. Give me this full screen, let's focus on this one, and then okay, do your stuff, and then super F back out, and then you've back the overview in tiling. So that's what I usually do. It's also very personal. I, I, I say what I do, but it's up to you to find your workflow around in this thing. You see, for instance, in the client up here, you see focus left, focus up, focus down, control super with arrows you can move around. 
in the terminals and uh, it's up to you and here as well focus left super h and so on so we have lots of possibilities to do the same thing with other keys which is okay which is fine we need to have some flexibility some print screens um, of course control shift print control print or just print and uh, super enter is the termite that's gonna work you can do lots of stuff now how do we move something maybe like this one to another tag so we say i want to have this one there so do i need to make it again yes you can of course but can we move this to shift super <laughs> super shift 2 yeah sure there it is there is this little sign up here you're still in number one so tag number one but it's already there so it's in here and you made an error and you said no 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 i want to have it to super shift three and it's moved to super shift three here to tag three actually so that's how you navigate how you do move things um there was this full screen that we've done uh, what else we have the super floating th stuff as well but you need to have extra window for that we've done that okay then there are the shortcuts you probably just know your fingers know about it like alt tap alt tap when I, i'm here of course alt tap we go through the uh, tags let's put this one here let's put that one there and now we see in every in every tag there is something okay and we um, navigate through it so alt tab and that's how you just go through the tags or to the workspaces if windows tab works maybe windows shift tab will work and yes it's going back for like so alt tab same and alt shift tab okay so we do not need to use our mouse to just say go to that tag we can have a windows tab or a super tap or an L tap and they will work with shift as well I'm going to show you a one you might need an interesting one is called a hotkey here we know already about the shift super D and it breaks our, our tag menu there's no problem we just reload it with shift super reload or R but this one I want to talk about super esk or kill the process so sometimes we say oh god uh, this process is hanging or anything then we press super escape we have this nice little logo you see it here in black here so nice little logo whatever you touch it's killed instantly so that's also a quite a fun uh, little application killing stuff you don't want or need anymore I finally found my shortcut key it's down here in the layouts super plus space is select next so that's going through all the um, well the tiling the maximizing all the ways you can organize your windows in awesome so that's here super space and here are some other applications as well all with super there is this new thing we should talk about that's Rofi we've added actually a Rofi to awesome and it, it resulted having Rofi also in XFCE in open box and what uh, how do we do we launch it so super s we check it out and say oh where's Rofi Rofi is here Rofi theme selector super r that's one thing super r is a way to choose it I'm gonna show you later but let's first see what we have standard out of the box super f11 is a way to find for instance that a fire i just thought talked about but this a fire thing is actually an application i believe oh no no that's a problem here uh, it won't work any i believe okay too bad there was something about an, an application an ascii fire application um, 
I don't recall anymore what it was. But it's uh, a nice thing. Um, well, we were talking about uh, Rofi. So Rofi S is a, just a launcher. A launcher. There are so many launchers to say, okay, launch me Firefox. And then you, was it Kakafire? Yeah, that was it, Kakafire. Okay, fine. Um, strange stuff. <laughs> anyway, Super Life 11. You're probably going to use it to launch applications like Firefox or GIMP or anything. You just start typing GIMP and you have a lot of things. XFCE, we have a lot of XFCE stuff in here as well to help with our awesome system. And so that's that's that look. But there's also Super F12, which I prefer, not that big. And then you just do the same. You just look for Firefox and then go arrow down, arrow down. That's it. So that's a standard look, but there's also this super R thing. So we've chosen for a theme, but there are so many themes. So you can just click on these guys and, and everything changes just by arrow and enter. And now it's going to be difficult. It's, it's now up there in the D menu kind of thing, but maybe there is in something in there you like. Now this is not created by us. Let's be very clear about that. This is just the standard installation of um, Rofi, so the standard Rofi themes. We'll make our own uh, Rofi themes once we are well ready for it. So let's say I like this one. Um, there is this little line up here that says Alt A to accept a new theme. So Alt A to accept a new theme. And now when I press Super F12, oh yeah, now I have another theme and I have um, another look. So that's Rofi for you, that's a new menu we provide and which is also on i3 in um, Arco Linux i3. And, um, well, you can use it to launch an application as well. All right. Another interesting um, little tweak is this one here, the tag Alt Control M or Control S again. Alt uh, Control M decrement useless gaps or Alt Control P increment useless gaps. What does that do? If you are, uh, were on i3, you would know. So if you press super and then return, um, we have here enough terminals to show you. So Control Alt M and P, and that's what's going to happen if you want to have a well, a border, a gap between the windows, you can do so. And you can decide how much pixels you would like to have. And it's going to be like this. It's going to be a great look. Um, it's all up to you if you want to show this and then make it a nice screenshot for people. Take a look, this is awesome. And you have this tiling window manager with gaps or without gaps. It's just up to you to decide whether you want them or not. Now, the fun stuff about this styling, if we do a, oh, my, my screen keys are gone. My apologies, guys, did not see that. So the screen key was out. Reloading. So if we have a, let's kill this one. Let's kill what that one and that one. Okay, so I have this one tag with two uh, elements here and we press Control alt m or p depending on what you want and say okay i'm going to leave it like this when we delete this and we make another terminal again he'll remember but that's on tag one when you press here two and you say let's have a look at this one here didn't say anything about gaps so here it's again uh, tie it like this. Again, you need to tell something about, hey, do you want tags or not on this one? So this is a separate screen, another screen. So, okay, other settings. You are, um, you can fine tune it so incredibly tag by tag. So that's a neat thing to know, a neat trick to do. Okay. Now maybe you would say, hey, Eric, that's not fun. I mean, I wanted the whole system to know Use gaps all the time. Don't want to set it 
every time ctrl o m and so on can we some way is there some way to put uh, gaps all the time everywhere also with firefox if we launch firefox ctrl f firefox hey there are no gaps hmm. yes there is of course so we have four tags already open this one is clean so i press super f2 i go to atom and we investigate so we have this awesome folder on your home directory and in there we're actually working with the blue one this is a blue theme so the blue one is uh, the star wars gpg power arrow blue and we have changed it to the wooden floor in a previous video and it's in the team lua that we have here useless gaps in line 81 so i just uh, control f it and i said gaps or something else useless i don't know what i typed it's here so it says here that for starters if you restart awesome then it's going to be zero let's so let's exaggerate so you'll see so 20 isn't too much but like i said you'll see what it's going to do if we reload super here if we reload awesome shift super r okay shift super r and reload it things will happen clearly things will 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 be well like this you decided to have gaps this big so he has reloaded everything with the well the, for the variable you decided here so more or less five is probably good enough so reloading it again and that's okay five is is all right it all depends how big your screen is i have here 1920 and 1080 so i can spare five pixels here and there so there you go we have now a gaps as well um, if you love those kind of things you can do like so and um, let's see if there is any gaps i would like to mention um, yes there are the widgets but i'm i guess i'll discuss these things up here uh, at a later, another video later stage here so super tap we've done that you previously we've done not seen that so super to arrow to the right works as well going from um, tag to tag that's nice yeah. so that's okay and for the rest i think you'll just have to um, see if there are other things you would like or not i do not use all of them it's not the intention to use all of them um, just use the one you need always it, it's finding your workflow it's like in every desktop environment again finding your workflow all right ending the video here and going to the theming more and uh, well the widgets up here all right